Okay, uh, let's start with the, your uh, second presentation. Okay, okay. I, I will have do it. between 10 and 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. You may start. Okay, assalamu alaikum and good uh, good evening again to all the uh, participants. Uh, right now, I'm going to present uh, the maximum bending stress analysis of nanosilica filled aringa pinata epoxy and glass epoxy polymer composites. So this will be my presentation outline. I have the introduction, objectives, methodology, results and discussion, and also the conclusions. So um, we are going to use the same materials, Aringa Pinata, with the same volume fraction and also the same weight percentage of nanosilica content. Uh, however, in this, uh, in this case, we are going to, uh, to do the bending test, which is the, it is a bending stress and it's these formation behavior studies is important in predicting uh, maximum transverse force that can be applied to a structure or mechanical component. So previously, I presented a quasi-static analysis, and right now I'm presenting the bending analysis. So this will be the objective. Uh, the objective is to evaluate the effect of volume fraction for the bending analysis, and also to evaluate the presence of nanosilica content to the APFRP uh, by using NC simulations. So these steps, still the same, applied for this analysis except we have uh, different things to change in these three elements, which we are going to create a new element with a new size of specimen, which we have a different size of specimen for quasi-static and also in bending. Then we are going to define a different uh, boundary condition and also uh, different uh, loads. Since we are going to use uh, the same specimen, so the material properties, the meshing, sectioning layer, and the failure criteria are all the same. So these are the different that you can see previously the element created is in square shapes so this uh, for bending we have a rectangular a rectangular shape based on the required uh, dimension then uh, next will be the meshing you also can see the meshing is different from the previous analysis then the boundary condition is now no longer applied to all the lines. We only apply at the both end, right and left end, which it will be static. It will be the fixed end. And we are going to define a load at the middle line. As you can see the red dots in the middle, that it will be the loads applied to the element. Okay. Then moving on to the uh, specific dimension that we are going to use in the analysis and also different type of specimen and also the different fiber ply orientation. We are going to use uh, the same input data of material properties since we are using the same specimen. Then moving on to the results, when we complete all the steps of the simulations, we are going to have the stress distribution. And as you can see, it gives us a same trend, but a slightly different uh, volume, a uh, different value. So these are the results of stress distribution for 10 volume percentage of Aringa Pinata at different fiber ply orientation, which is at zero degree and also at 90 degree. And also in this NC simulation, we can have the deflection contour uh, analysis, which uh, we are going to have a red color and also blue color as mentioned previously in uh, quasi static analysis. Then we are going to collect all the data uh, we obtain from the simulation, recorded in a table and we convert into a graph. Then from the graph, we can clearly see the difference between all those four different volume fraction of Aringa Pinata. And for this case, we have the straight line with black dot is 25 volume fraction of Aringa Pinata give the maximum bending stress compared to the other volume fraction of Aringa Pinata. Then we repeat the same steps of simulation uh, and by using NCs 
to the addition of nanosilica to the uh, our 25 week, uh, volume percentage of uh, Aringa pinata. And from this, we get the results of five weight percentage of nanosilica content of 25 volume fraction Aringa pinata gave us the maximum bending stress compared the, to the other two. So again, we took 25 APRF, APFRP and also five weight percentage of nanosilica content to the 25 APFRP to be compared to the glass FRP composite. So this is the maximum deflection that you can see in the Z direction. So we are going to have a bending, slightly bending here. And we are going to see the maximum deflection contour at X, Y direction that will give us a clearly results on the uh, how the deflection happens. So these are the uh, comparison between 25 AP FRP, five nanosilica to 25 AP FRP, and also to the glass FRP composites. Then uh, we come to make it clear, we compare it into a graph. Then we can see we have a different trend for our APFRP with the glass FPRP. Uh, it is expect actually it is expected that our results to be at the same trend of curve with the glass FRP. However, we have a slightly different trend for our Aringa Pinata. And again, we still need to validate our results with the experimental values. So therefore we can see, we have a slightly different with the uh, glass FRP composite. As for the conclusions, we can see that from our seven specimen, we have uh, found that 25 volume fraction of Aringa Pinata FRP composite provide the maximum bending stress and when we add uh, more nanosilica content, we have five weight percentage of nanosilica addition provides the maximum bending stress. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for the interesting work and uh, for a nice presentation. And uh, the floor is open for any questions from the audience. Dr. Abdul Kausen, do you have any question? Yes. Yeah, please, Dr. Abdul Kausen, you can start your question. That's okay for, uh, for me. Uh, uh, thank you for the this uh, interesting presentation. It's uh, uh, the good presentation of uh, uh, ANSYS uh, software. Uh, I sent my uh, my question. Uh, it's not question. It's a recommendation to to use another uh, modeling approach like homogenization to compare the results from ANSYS software, which based uh, on uh, find elements. It's just uh, my recommendation. I sent it in the the chat. Uh, you can see. The thank you. Question. Thank you so much for your suggestion, Professor. Uh, thank you. Thank you. 